dignitaries on stage, ladies and gentlemen, and my dear little friends from Ebenezer. I have always kept in mind, right from my childhood, I've grown up using one quote which I felt was to my great advantage. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. I got away with it with my parents. I got away with it with my teachers. I think it holds a lot for all of you to understand that sports is not about being an extracurricular activity. Sports is actually an integral part of whatever you do. Everybody says that yes, it helps you, helps you remain healthy, it builds a lot of team spirit, it gives you leadership skills. But I think the most important part, two lessons which I learned from sports are, one, it helps you understand and overcome failure. In life, understand there are more failures than success. And if you cannot overcome failure, it's very difficult to handle success. I'm sure all of you who watch sports know Virat Kohli on day one may be out on zero, but comes back for the next innings wanting to score a century. It could happen in tennis when the top seed is beaten by an unseeded. So it is your ability to overcome failure and make success which will actually take you high up in life. The second important lesson which all of you need to understand is it's not participating to win. Many of us think that you should join a coaching camp and in case you join a cricket coaching camp, you are the next Sachin Tendulkar in the Indian team. It is not. You do not play games only to win. You play games, one, to keep yourself healthy. Second, it imbibes in you a lot of ability to understand people. I can tell you out of my experience, as a young officer having passed my training and got joined the unit, I had people who had almost the number of years of service which was equal to my age and I was expected to lead them. And lead them with what? I had nothing to show them. I had no certificates. I had no achievements which I could show them. So the easiest way for me was to participate with them in sports. And if I was good at it, whether I won or not, they all appreciated that. From the sports field, when I went back into my office, I saw that their acceptance of orders which I gave them were much more easier. So please understand that you are not here just to win. I would request all parents, please encourage your children to play sports even if they are not winners. Make them understand that in life, even if you are not first, if you can understand others, you may be first in some other field, there would be someone else who is first in sports. So please accept everyone, have the right sportsman spirit and have a great time when you are on the sports field. Look forward to an en encouraging day, enjoying all of you perform and, and uh, compete with each other. Have a great time, wishing all the houses all the best. May the best team win. Thank you.